What's going on, everybody, in YouTube land from Mark's Reviews and Rants? Well, here it is Wednesday. Got to think about what day it is. I don't even know what day it is Wednesday. Let me see. I think it's the 14th. <clears throat> yeah, if you saw my video yesterday, I was telling you about I got tested positive for COVID. So I've just been around the house, ain't doing much. My son works at Zaxby's and I asked him to bring me a salad home yesterday because I didn't feel like eating nothing. I've been eating soup for a couple of days. I can't even taste nothing I eat. But, uh, thought I was going to try to sneak out of here today and go get something, you know, maybe to drive through or something. But I don't feel like, if I drive, I probably feel like I'm going to pass out. I got up this morning. Well, just getting dressed and everything, and I started just sweating, just started sweating. You know, just, just tired, sweating, you know, but I mean, I'll get over it. I'm sure I'll get over it. I'm not sitting here dying or nothing, you know what I'm saying? It's just, it's just, I like doing things, you know, especially when I'm off. I like doing things, be able to go when I want to go, you know? But, uh, I just wish my company, well, there, there's another part of my company my company owns it, the same, pretty much the same company, but they get paid, uh, if they're out for two weeks, they still get paid two weeks. They get paid two weeks. If they're out two weeks, they, they keep their pay going for like two weeks. But us, we got to apply for short-term disability, and the lady said the packet will be here within seven to ten days. And that's just ridiculous, man. But, uh, yeah, I don't have no taste for nothing. Here it is, 12 o'clock now. It's 12 o'clock here in Georgia. And I don't even feel like eating nothing right now. I might have to force myself to eat something in a minute. But I don't know what to eat. I thought to myself, somebody, I guess somebody might give me some Chinese food. I'd try to eat some Chinese food if I had some, but I can't go and get none. I don't drive there. And uh, I'll probably be sitting over I know I get dressed. I get dressed, you know, in the morning. I get dressed and everything, and pretty much. I've done a few things. I'm washing my towels and rags and stuff like that. I get stand in the washer. You know, odds and ends, stuff like that I do. But then the day goes by before I know it. And it's time to get undressed, take a shower again. And that's another day gone. It's like I'm on vacation, but I can't do anything, you know? It's like I'm on vacation, but I can't can't do anything. I got a cat in my lap right now. There's a cat in my lap. My daughter's cat. My daughter's cat, it's almost the same color as black and white. It jumped in my lap and started laying down, sleeping. And this cat right here, everybody always says this is my cat right here. My cat jumped up on the right leg, was looking like, what are you doing on my dad's lap? So the cat just jumped off, and this cat right here just lay back down on my lap and started sleeping. Yeah, I know I know. you just want to hear all about cats this time on the, on the video. But, uh, yeah, I got some steaks and stuff like that I can cook on the darn grill, you know, because since I'm off, I'm off work. But I don't feel like, I mean, I don't feel like cooking on the grill for one thing right now. I don't feel like cooking nothing. And nothing, I just don't have no appetite, and I can't taste nothing. So that defeats defeat the purpose of even cooking on the grill, because I don't feel like eating nothing. Yeah, I just hope it goes away. I kind of hope it goes away, and I start feeling better before I have to go back to work again. I mean, I got us on six days a week now, pretty much 10 hours a day, six days a week. And I was already talking about it. I mean, I'm glad to have a job. Thanks for one thing. I'm glad I have a job. But when you had to stay there 10 hours a day, 10 hours go by so slow there. So slow. It's, it's just a long day. But uh, that's all I'm doing. I'm just at home. Probably going to sit on the porch in a little bit. Look at my phone on the porch. I might come up with something to eat in a minute. I got some Jimmy Dean Mrs. Gravy Bowls. 
I ate them two mornings in a row already. Two mornings. Yeah, I just, uh, I got soup and everything. I still got some more, a lot of soup. I got soup and stuff, but I just don't feel like eating no soup. Yeah, I've been taking Tylenol. I've been taking Tylenol. I got a, I got a bottle of Tylenol Sunday. That's before that I found out that I actually had corona, uh, the virus. Yeah, I got some containers. Tylenol Sunday, so I've been taking uh, Tylenol throughout the day a couple times a day. It's like the wind might be possibly blowing a little bit out there. I hear wind chimes. My wind chimes going out there. I did cut the grass uh, day four yesterday. I got out there, even though I didn't feel good. I went out there, I said, man, I'm cutting this grass because all my neighbors around me have their grass cut. And I know they're thinking, because I keep mine cut. I pretty much keep mine cut. Right when I can cut it, I cut it. And they're probably thinking, darn, that's, that's, that's not like him not to cut his grass. But I cut my grass sometimes two, maybe three times compared to a uh, couple of neighbors here. I cut the grass, but I was tired, man. Even though I have a push, uh, a riding lawnmower, I did most of it. And a push mower, I do some of it. I had to sit down I really rest. I guess it's the breathing thing. You know, they say, you know, breathing may be part of it. I had to sit down and really rest, you know, before I start weed eating. And I, and I was debating on where to weed eat or not. But I guess the OCD part of me, I'm sitting there thinking, I, I can't let it. I got I to gotta, I gotta get the thing done all the way. So anyway, after I rested a good bit, I went out there and weed eat a little bit. Then I put my trimmer attachment on, on my weed eater and, uh, trimmed bush out there because it was sticking up like this like sticking up uneven whatever so I had to I trimmed that just a little bit not much and when I got that done and took a blower and blew everything off so that's what's going on YouTube I thought I'd let you know what's going on I'm not 100% sure when I'm going back to work yet I already knew about two ladies when I started feeling sick later uh, after I felt, felt sick I uh, these two ladies at my job uh, are out with COVID. A coworker of mine told me yesterday a, a third lady was out for COVID. So far as I know right now, four of us are out right now because of COVID. I just think if you have to be out and you got proof you got COVID, like I got proof that I have COVID, I think I think the company ought to give you two weeks pay or whatever you're out. You know, this at least two weeks pay. Because it's not like it's going to be an ordeal here this uh packet that's coming in the mail i gotta fill out or whatever i don't know anyway youtube I'll, I'll get back to you when i come up with another video just thought i'll let you know my experience right now i'm breathing pretty decent i mean i see some people on youtube i hope it can't get no worse really i'm thinking it's been it's gonna get better before worse that's what i'm thinking but some people get over it I mean, a lot of people get over it, so a lot of people don't. It's just weird. A whole year done passed, so over a year now, since this COVID thing come out. And I was okay. One time last year, October, I did go get tested because I was feeling sick. So I went ahead and got tested. My company said I had to get tested before I come back. And I was like, it was a negative. So this time it's positive. So I thought I'd touch base with everybody. I'm just sitting here watching the day pretty much go by. So everybody in YouTube land, enjoy the rest of your day and I'll get back with you if there's any other kind of video I can come up with making. Ain't much more I, I can do right now. Later.